In this video, we are taking a quick look at the Mystery Ranch Rover. This is pretty much a maximum legal size carry-on MLC. More information over at packhacker.com, link in the YouTube description below. So kicking it off, we've got a very robust Mystery Ranch logo here. There's really no question that you have a Mystery Ranch. It's almost this kind of metal material going on. And then yeah, let's kick it right off with the front pocket here. First of all, this fabric, it feels pretty good, but compared to other Mystery Ranch products, I feel like it, it feels a little bit less quality. So I don't, I don't know if this is 500D or what, or if it's kind of a different, different quality, but on the uh, Urban Salt 24, the fabric feels a lot better. And I understand it's a different use case. Maybe this one doesn't quite have to be as robust because it's just for travel versus kind of more in, of an outdoorsy focused pack. But just note that kind of the feel in the hand is not as good as some other Mystery Ranch products we tested. Love the zippers here. We got some YKK AquaGuard zippers that just open right up. A little bit of compartmentalization and organization inside of here. Got these little liner pockets for pen, pencil, stylus, and then kind of two other longer items. Just generally a, a bigger pocket as well if you don't want to use any of that stuff. The bottom here, this is for your shoes which is great. So that opens right up. You can stick stick your shoes or your boots or your dirty laundry in here. Um, looks like we've got a mes messenger strap as well if you want to attach that to the exterior of the bag. Uh, not seeing a lot of padding here, so I wouldn't really want to carry this for too long fully loaded out, uh, but it is a nice, nice high quality uh, buckle here you can use on the outside. That's a nice touch. Yeah, clothes, shoes in here. Love that additional compartmentalization if you want it, the option is there. And yeah, like no liner at the bottom here. So this is kind of just the, the feel of that fabric. I'm kind of like, I'm just not, I'm not loving it compared to other Mystery Ranch products. Uh, but a nice beefy YKK zipper, ample zip, zipper pulls that you could shorten or cut off if you didn't want them. But like, you're always gonna be able to grab that zipper, especially with gloves on, you know, if you're outside or it's cold or something like that. Um, Again, maybe a little bit more for Mystery Ranch's outdoor use case, not necessarily as much for travel, but it is nice to have that. Handles on both sides, which is nice. Or sorry, just one side, but on there are two handles. So that's kind of nice to get around the, the stabilization issue by having two. So when you kind of hold it, the it centers. If you're just holding one, it's gonna kind of get a little lopsided. So that's a nice touch. Handle at the top here. I like these handles. There seems to be a little bit of foam in here or there's just kind of uh, some additional wet webbing folded over. D-ring at the top here, this is where we're gonna be able to attach that messenger strap, and I assume, yep, there's another one back here. So that'll allow you to attach it messenger style. Yeah, we'll just open this thing right up. The main capacity, did I, did I do this one yet? I, I did not. So this is the front, before we go to the main compartment, this is the front, this is where the laptop compartment is. Uh, 15 inch MacBook Pro inside of a slim in-case case does not fit in here but the MacBook Pro without that case will fit in here. Um, like that there's a false bottom. Don't love that this is on the front for travel. I mean, it, it, your, your laptop is pretty much your densest, most heavy thing, and that's gonna kind of be pulling on your back. Ideally, you want that, your laptop, the heavy piece back here, right? Sort of in the back. And you can put it there, but it, we'll get into it in a second. It doesn't really work that well. So it definitely works better in the front. Um, yeah, and then we've got this kind of little tablet pocket here as well for a tablet or a notebook or something of that nature. Love how like robust that is. Um, don't love this strap quite as much. It's just kind of seems a little flimsy and you always got to kind of play like like target practice when you're trying to get it exactly on that little uh, Velcro area. So yeah, just a nice Nice big pocket, again, false bottom on the laptop, which is good, gonna be protected from unexpected drops there. All right, and then let's open it up. It opens up fully clamshell, or suitcase style, rather. And the handles here are nice, right? It's not only to hold it, but if you wanna open the bag up like that, or if you're in your hotel room and you just wanna carry this across the room, Grab both sides like this and carry it. It's nice. We we learned this with the uh, Evergood CTB40, but that was a nice nice feature in our full review of that one. Um, opening it up, we've got it's really solid, tight craftsmanship here. We've got this mesh that feels like pretty high quality. It's kind of in this uh, sort of almost like hexagonal honeycomb pattern. 
And yeah, I mean, just a bunch of compartments going on. So this mesh here, it's kind of mesh on mesh on mesh. That opens right up. Nice ample space there for organization. Behind that is a full mesh flap as well. So really nice to get everything in there, suitcase style. Here's the info. And um, yeah, it's just solid, solid, solid. So that's nice. Um, we'll talk about the harness system in a second after we go over the organization. Same thing on this side, same kind of deal. Um, you've got this sort of mesh pocket up here and then more mesh on the bottom. So we'll open that right up. This is where that shoe compartment comes in. So this could be full, just note that. And if not, you can kind of smash it down out of the way. Um, the Air Travel Pack 2 actually has like kind of a, a pocket inside of here to roll this excess fabric into. Not the case with the Rover, but it's easy enough to kind of work with it and, and give yourself some extra space there without needing to officially kind of compress it down. So let's, uh, before we wrap up here, let's just talk about the harness system real quick. We've got just really beefy straps here. I mean, Mystery Ranch is great for, for creating nice and, and comfortable harness systems. So definitely has this one going on. We like that there's some additional space at the top here. Uh, so the straps are anchored a little bit lower. Uh, good sternum strap. That's nice. I believe no option for a hip belt on this one. Uh, the way that these hook in is a little bit odd. So it's sort of this hook mechanism. Uh, generally like that. I haven't seen it a ton. At first I was kind of worried it was going to detach. We've been testing it for a couple days though and hasn't happened yet though. The one thing though that I did run into that was a little bit weird is this sort of strap adjuster got stuck in here in, in a way that was really weird and it took me a while to, to get it out. Got stuck in that hook. So that's just a note with that kind of a system. But yeah, I mean unstrap everything and you can just put it down here, zip it shut. If you don't want the harness to show, if you want to carry this by the handle, if you want to carry this in briefcase mode and just love this nicely padded back panel. Um, that's still, you know, there's a bit of flexibility to get it to contour to your body a little bit better, but there is enough of kind of a, a tightness to it as well, uh, where it does provide some structure, especially if your laptop is in the front and not the back. Normally your laptop will provide a little bit of structure, but, um, in the case of this bag, it's in the front. So there you have it, our quick look review of the Mystery Ranch Rover. More information over at packhacker.com. And also for more detailed reviews, feel free to subscribe to our other channel on YouTube. Thanks for keeping it here at Packhacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next video.